Welcome back. For this guide, we have the dungeon map. This tile set is based on off the uh, the prison tile set you'll see uh, in Act One, right after the climb. Um, it's kind of a maze. Obviously, it's a dungeon. Um, oh, hey, a tormented spirits, part of the Torment League. These will be added to the main game, so you may see these from time to time. But we're just looking for the boss. Uh, the boss room is actually a separate room from the uh, the main map, which uh, is the first time in our map guides that we're seeing this. But it's fairly common for uh, for bosses, especially ones that have mechanics that you could cheese by you know just kiting them around. They put the boss off in his own room, so you're kind of stuck in there with them. Uh, which makes it, you know, a little, a little different, but not really hard if you know what what you're looking for. Uh, so you'll notice that the the mobs on this tile set tend to be like spiders and skeletons and necros, uh, all the kind of stuff that you'll see in the the dungeons, uh, the uh, the prisons in the main game. They don't really throw you for too much of a loop uh, in these early 66 maps. So we're just gonna try and find the boss. Uh, there's not really a good way to find the boss room. Uh, it's generally along the outside. Uh, and it'll be kind of a little bit of a corridor uh, leading down to a crack in the wall that has the boss room. So we're just kind of trying to hug the edges, jump around here, uh, and find, find the boss. Uh, like I said before, this is just kind of a huge maze. Um, it's not one of the. It's not a map that people generally uh, choose to clear, uh, unless their map pool is pretty bad and they just kind of have to. And that's solely f because it's it's hard to completely clear due to the layout. So we're just looking for the boss here. Lots of necros, rolling around, skeletons, spiders. Oh my. Necros are my least favorite mod. All right, here we go. So you'll see that we have this corridor leading to a little zigzag. Uh, oh wait, no, it wasn't it. Yeah, it is, okay. Uh, and then it leads to these little dungeon, or these little jail cells, and one of them has an opening. Uh, this boss is based off Brutus, who's uh, midway through act one. Uh, he does everything, he does all the same mechanics, just bigger and badder. So these spike traps come up from the ground, uh, they do physical damage, uh, he does almost entirely physical damage, uh, he does entirely physical damage, I'm fairly certain. Uh, he drops these cages, the cages drop and it'll kind of hurt you, summons all these skeletons, he does this hook, let's see if we can get hooked here, let's see if we can get hooked here, damn it, we dodged it accidentally. There. Uh, he does a ground slam which hurts significantly. Uh, I'm trying to get hooked. So he does a big hook. It has a long wind up and it's insanely easy to dodge if you're, if you're watching him. Uh, but he'll just keep summoning skeletons, putting spikes up, and ground slamming. His ground slam also has a bit of a wind up. Uh, so even if you're in melee, in melee range, it's pretty easy to watch him wind up and then dodge it like that. Uh, you just kind of want to keep moving, uh, get your damage in when you can. Uh, if you're ranged, he's pretty straightforward. You just poke him down and dodge the hooks. So, uh, like every other 66 map, he doesn't really do anything new that you haven't seen before. Everything's just a little bit bigger, hits a little bit harder. Um, he's probably one of the more dangerous level 66 bosses uh, because he does hit very hard with physical damage. So if you don't have armor, if you don't have a good life pool, uh, he can he can do some damage to you. But uh, if you just watch his mechanics, uh, all of his damage is is pretty dodgeable. So mechanics kind of kind of beat him here, and he's he's not really that threatening. He's he's more of a surprise factor if you're not expecting it. But pretty straightforward to kill, and that's the map. Thanks for watching.